Welcome to Fat Daddy's Outdoor Cooking. We are, we're not really cooking, not really outdoor. We are, yeah, we're outdoors. All right, let me show you what we got going on. This evening, we are fixing to season the flat iron. All right, it's got to get seasoned. We just got it clean. Baby girl went in and scrubbed it down, got it all scrubbed up. Uh, it, you know, the wind was blowing real hard. My cover blowed off. It had dirt on it. And, ugh, you can't cook nothing on that. Ugh. So, it's clean now. And I'm going to show you what I do when I season it. It's going to take several seasonings. Seasonings, yeah. So, the first thing we did, we dried it off after she brought it over here. It was wet. I fired it up. Well, I, I used a rag and dried most of it off and then fired it up and got it all. And then I got some oil on there. And I'm just using regular old canola oil. You ain't got to do nothing fancy. Oh, man, you got to use grapeseed oil or something. Okay. Just use what you got. I mean, I wouldn't put lard on here unless you're cooking every day. But uh, there it is. It's not real gorgeous. You can see it's kind of dried. So what we're going to do, we're just going to wipe this oil all over. Then we're going to bring it up to where it's. When it starts smoking just a touch, I'm killing I'm killing it. I'll probably do it right before that. I've learned to do it a little bit before that. And then we're just going to keep applying this oil cover to it, including on the sides, all along your edges, all the way around. So hang tight. I use my spatula, and I just move it around like this, like that. Like you're putting frosting on there, buddy. Get it all moved around just like that. And then I'm going to grab a, a napkin and hit the sides. Because you want to do the sides, too. Because they will rust on you. So I just get a little grease on my rag here. I mean, on my, my little towel here. And I just go around the edge of the sides. Just like that. All the way around it. And each time you're going to do this, you're just going to be careful not to burn yourself. This is not hot right now, but uh, that oil is going to protect, keep it from rusting. It's going to get a good coating on there, a good seasoning on there. Just move everything around. And then we're going to warm it up to temp, just like you're doing a cast iron. And uh, here we go. Let's fire this darling up. There it is. And usually while that fire's going, it looks real beautiful right now because of the lights, but when that fire's going, I'm just usually using this little spatula, and I'm just going back and forth, just making sure that she's evenly coated all the way across the top. Just keep messing with it. You don't have to do it nonstop. I'm just trying to keep that oil on there flat, just like that. A little quick pointer, too. If your flat iron is rusted... You know, it got some dew in the air. Maybe it didn't get covered that night and uh, got rained on or whatever. Just get all that stuff off. Go ahead and get you a Brillo pad and get to town because it's going to be a while. You're going to, all of it, make sure it's all off. If you got to do it 10 times, scrubbing it, scratching at it, get it all off. And then you're going to have to season it. Uh, it's just the way it is because you don't want none of that rust on there because you'll have that that flavor and uh it's like a cast iron and uh my, mine is pretty close to pretty warm i'm gonna wait for that oil to start just if i see any smoke at all i'm killing it because i've got to do it three or four more times probably do it probably two more times so this is really not that bad uh anyway all right, y'all. I've cut the heat off. The oil was separating from the from the iron, and so I went in and cut the heat off. And let me tell you something else. If if your iron has still got that uh, when you're when you're scraping through and you still got you still got that rust now after you put the oil on there, you still got that rusty brown on your oil. Go ahead and get all that oil back off. No problem. Wait, let, wait for it to cool back down. Don't worry about it. Get all the oil off. And recut her again. And keep doing that. You don't want no rusty brown oil. All right, last I have to say, all the way around the edge, 
all the way around the edge, even on the top of the edge. I even do on the outside of the edge. Make sure you do all the edge, including the outside. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video, maybe tomorrow. You know what? One last tip. When, you, when you've got it all done, you've done it a couple, three times, get all your oil off after it cools off a little bit. Go ahead and wipe all your oil off. And then go ahead and coat it real lightly with a brand new coat of oil. And then cover it. Now, when you fix the fire back up, get it warm back up. Wipe all that back off. And then you start again with some oil or whatever you're going to do with it.